Hey guys, Jed here. So this is video one of the season, I guess, for the footage that I'm recording with this new GoPro 3. So liking the new GoPro so far, I'm still playing around with the settings, so I'm not sure how I'm going to mount it for the rest of the season. This is more of just a trial run to see how things are. But so yeah, the powder today, amazing. Like I opened my front door and there's 20 and 30 centimeters of powder right there. I know it's a good day. And man, the mountain did not disappoint. This tree run we're in right now is just a random tree run on Blackcomb. And it's still deep. I mean, we got a good 20 centimeters in there, 20, 30 centimeters in parts. And that was amazing. But man, some of the other mountain, 50 centimeters deep, waist deep, every turn there was powder spraying everywhere. It was just epic. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And you know what? Since we're in trees, let's talk about tree safety, hey? So you can see I'm riding in a group here. So trees, generally, you want to ride in a group. It's usually it's always safer. If you ride with a group of two or more, that way if you get in trouble, you get stuck in a tree well, fall in a hole, you can get someone to help you, and you're not stuck upside down. So ride in a group. Um, ride in a level of the group, that's important as well. You can see here, I'm stopping here and there, making sure everyone's okay. If you're the best rider in the group or the worst rider in the group, you, you want generally want the group to have an even riding level so people aren't getting lost. You're not having people randomly turn up five minutes ahead of everyone and standing there for 20 minutes, you know? So ride together, you know? Stay within line of sight. It's good to, well, you're going to lose people in the tree runs, right? But stay closest to each other so that way at least you don't get to the bottom and find, oh, Bob disappeared and we have no idea where he is. That's what you don't want to happen. And by the way, that happens in this exact clip. We get to the bottom, we have no idea where one of our guys went. And this is why if you're new to a tree run, stay with the group. There's no reason you need to venture off into some gnarly tree run adventure, you know? Stay with the group and stay with the other people if it's a new, unfamiliar terrain. So, yeah, let me know what you think about the GoPro settings. I, I'm, I don't know. I'm still playing around a lot. There's a part clip coming up after this powder footage. So it's just a simple straight end of a 540, I think it is. But it's just me playing around with the angle. I'm still not sure if I'm going to keep this angle. <laughs> so here we are at the bottom going, uh-oh, where, where's Bob? But yeah, don't worry if we find him. And yeah, so let me know what you think of the footage. Still playing around. Um, probably do a lot of videos like this with just commentary and footage in the background. Maybe longer, maybe shorter. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But so the part clip coming up, I think I'm going to do a lot more um, holding the camera behind me. I think it gives a better view. I think you'll see coming up that it's an okay view the point of view footage but it could be better i think it'd be cool if you could see me in the shot so yeah this is video one of the gopro series from whistler hope you guys are having an epic season i know i am and have a good weekend guys